Hey guys, this is Travis Bradford with Backcountry Hunters and Anglers. We have teamed up with Bedford Camera and Video, the leader in outdoor photography and cinematography to bring you Taking the Shot. This is a tips and tricks video series aimed at helping you capture the most of your adventures outdoors. All right, so for this segment, we're gonna be talking about the pre-planning phase of, of shooting out in the field. Just like it's important to go scout um, for your hunt or your fish, it's really important to think about your process and what you want things to look like while you're out shooting, what body you're bringing and the lenses that you're bringing with you, as well as the weight that's gonna to add to your pack that's already full of hunting and fishing stuff. So disclaimer, this is kind of my thought process behind it. There's no necessarily right way, right or wrong way to do this. Just kind of what feels right for you and what you can get enjoyment out of. So first off, when I get out into the field, I like to have a pre-planned um, shot list, at least in my head. Some sort of idea of shots that I wanna be thinking about to look for when I'm out in the field. You have to think about your eye being your first initial shot that you're that you're going to shoot. This is kind of thinking about what imagery, um, whether you want to shoot just photos, shoot videos, or both. But really thinking about how you're going to be capturing stuff with your camera body. So for me, I'm a huge Sony fan. Um, I've been a big fan of their mirrorless line ever since they came out years ago. But that is my personal preference. I know plenty of shooters who use Nikon, plenty of shooters who use Canon, and they get great results. Really, it's gonna be what is easy for you to use when it's in your hands. Next, I'd like to talk about focal lengths. When I'm going out into the field, I like to be thinking about the weight that's going to be on my back, aside from you know all of the hunting and fishing stuff that I'm carrying with me when I'm going shooting. Um, I wanna make sure that I have what I need to capture the, the little details of life I want to while not breaking my back and carrying my whole kit with me. I like to think about having a fairly small kit but has a fairly small kit that has fairly large potential. What I mean by that is having a couple different lenses covering a fairly extensive focal range. So my go-to shooting lens seems to be a 24 to 70. Um, this is the 24 to 70 f 2.8 by Sony. Um, a really fast lens. I can shoot very um, late into the night with uh, the low or the fast f-stop, as well as getting out um, with a little bit of zoom range with the 70. If I'm needing to reach out there and get a little bit farther, I'm looking for a little bit more detail. I'm going to pull out the 70 to 200. Um, this is gonna give you a much more significant focal range than that 24 to 70. Um, you can reach out and touch um, some things out there that you just can't with this 24 to 70. So having a couple different lenses in your kit that, you can, that can cover a large extent of your focal range that you're wanting to shoot is gonna be very, very, very helpful. And when I'm out in the field, just to give you an example of how I like to keep my kit small, um, this is a little bag from F-Stop Gear. It makes really good stuff. I've had them for years. I can fit this camera in there. Get this guy all wrapped up and boom. This is my run and gun kit that I have that I can throw in my fishing bag, that I can throw in my hunting pack. This way I got everything that I need to have it there. Um, it, I usually keep an extra battery or two with me in this top end, as well as any other lens wipes or lens kit stuff I need down here. But this way you have everything where you need it to be. It's in a nice little kit, you can pull it out. It's not gonna get in the way and it's just more contained and easier for you to get to while you're out in the field. Thank you for taking part in this Taking the Shot video series with Bedford Camera and Video. Make sure to check them out for all of your photography and cinematography needs. And make sure to join Backcountry Hunters and Anglers to help protect the wild public lands, waters, and wildlife that we all love. Thanks guys, we'll see you outside.